Jenny Peters and I'm the Deputy Principal at Toowoomba State High School. We started enrolling um, refugee students from Syria and Iraq um, at the end of 2017 and um, at the commencement of 2018 we had around 17 students. Um, we currently have enrolled 166 students in our school ranging from year 7 through to year 12. Our students have um, always asked for our swimming lessons and so we have um, managed to be here at Mill Bay and um, provide swimming lessons for all of our students. A lot of this is foreign to these students, so to have our swim school, Wave Swim School and our, our staff, our aquatic facilities here at Milne Bay and all the team coming together to actually help these folk enjoy what uh, largely many Australians take for granted. That's the ability to swim, look after yourself and, uh, and have fun with friends and family. We've been practicing with them water safety in and around the aquatic centre. So this includes things like bubbles, floating, kicking with a kickboard, kicking without a kickboard, how to do big arms, how to do backstroke arms. And some of them are even getting to the point where they're enjoying butterfly. The implementation of the call program is such an important initiative in our country. Some of those people that aren't born here have no knowledge, no background and no experience in dealing with water, particularly in a recreational sense. So when they come into our communities uh, and our cities and towns, uh, as we know, most of our population enjoy recreating in and around the water. So the coal program is an opportunity to introduce uh, new Australians to the risk, the dangers and the, and the habits and behaviours that will keep them safe in and around the water. The improvement that I've seen over the last few weeks has been phenomenal and, um, and their confidence and their growth in the water has been amazing. So it's